Hello friends. So here is another question. It says derive mathematically the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t. Here this v should have been with small letter. So never mind v is equal to u plus a t. Read the question carefully. It says derive mathematically, right? So hence we will have to use mathematical tools to derive this equation. Okay. Now what is v stand for? What does v stand for? So v is final velocity. This already we know final velocity. So you should write like this final velocity. So when it is said final, that means there has, must be some initial also. So that is u. So you know u is initial velocity. Is it? Now what is this initial and final business? So basically, if you have, let's say, a journey happening in a straight line. Again, this is only true for journey happening in a straight line. Always remember. Okay, or you are treating V and U as speeds, right? Then even in curved surface, it is fine. But as far as ninth grade portions are concerned, we are going to restrict our analytics to straight line motion. Let's say this is the starting point, your home. This is your final end point, let's say your school. And uh, though your this is not a practical case, why? Because there is no straight distance between A and straight uh, straight line motion between A and B, you take a lot of, you know, you have to travel like this through the city and you reach here. But let's say we draw a straight line and let's assume that you are flying an aircraft from A to B horizontally. Okay. So uh, here when you started your, you know, your speed is U. Now you can say how can someone start not from zero, but from something else. Now, you know, here is the thing. So hence, basically this analytics is something like this, that you are going in a long path and then i am concentrating on these this window window of when you were at t equals to t1 to let's say t is equal to t2 the motion was happening from any any other point let's say from here p and you are going from p to q and i am analyzing your motion between these two times or between the time interval t1 to t2 this point is a as mentioned above and this point is b okay so when there was time t1 at your clock by your clock so you were at point b and at that moment you were traveling in this direction with a velocity u and when the your clock had was showing a time t2 let's say t1 is 12 pm t2 is 12 30 pm that t2 that is at 12 30 pm you were moving with the velocity v right so your velocity has changed as you were traveling from a to b and what is the characteristic of this motion? So you were traveling with an acceleration A in this direction. Okay. So you are basically accelerating. What does that mean? That means your speed in this direction or your velocity is going to increase as you travel from A to B. And finally, it has reached a value V when you are at, you know, location B at time T is equal to T2. Okay. Now by the definition of Acceleration guys, what is acceleration? So acceleration A is defined as change in change in velocity, change in velocity divided by change in time, change in time. So what all velocities and what all time? So hence, if you are considering this window from T1 to T2, I'm calling it a window. It's a time interval, right? At T equals to T1, you are at A at time t equals to t2 you are at b so hence you are traveling from a to b and the changes you are seeing is that at a we are traveling with a velocity u and at b you are traveling at a velocity v and this change in velocity was because you had an acceleration attached with you okay so this is where this is what the scenario is so hence the definition a can be rewritten as a is equal to v2 minus v1 divided by t2 minus t1 isn't it we can always write that change in velocity is v2 minus v1 and change in time is t2 minus t1 now the the assumption here what we are making is the acceleration is constant acceleration is constant what does that mean it means that Let's say you started with zero meter per second. Okay. And 
at the end of one second, your speed is, let me draw a table. Okay, so here is T, here is T and here is your velocity. So at the at zero, you are having zero meter per second speed. At the end of one second, you have one meter per second speed. At the end of second second, that is at the end of two seconds, your speed is two meter per second. So you're seeing your, you know, your velocity is increasing. At the end of third second, your speed is three meter per second, right? So as if, you know, uh, uh, the velocity is increasing constantly, right? So as if, if you throw something down, it starts increasing, the speed starts increasing, isn't it? But similar to that situation, this is there. So if you see, for every gap of one second, every gap of one second, your speed goes up by how much? Two minus one, one meter per second, isn't it? So every one second, you add one meter per second to your speed. I'm using speed and velocity interchangeably here. Why? Because we are concentrating only on a straight line motion where speed is equal to velocity if the direction is same, correct? So straight line motion, same direction, speed is as good as velocity, value wise. Okay, so what I'm trying to explain here is after every one second, so in the time gap of one second, your speed goes up by one meter per second. So you can see this one and this one is constant. So after, let's say fourth second, you can predict now your speed will be four meter per second. So again, you added one meter per second to your speed. This is the case of constant acceleration constant acceleration. Now let's say the same thing would have happened that after end of one second, every one second interval, your speeds are increasing. So let's say I draw another table here. Now time stays the same, but your speeds are like this zero, one, then four, then nine, like that your speeds are increasing. So at the gap of or at the end of every one second, right? For every interval of one second, your speed Right? What is the change in speed? So here you see one is the change. What is the change here? Three is the change. What is the change here? Five is the change. So, so your change is not constant. Is it change in velocity is not constant. It is varying with every second. And hence, we, this is the case of non-uniform acceleration or yes, or yeah, non-uniform acceleration. So please understand these two scenarios very, very clearly. This is non-uniform acceleration, here uniform acceleration, okay? So once you have understood, so in your grade, we are restricting only to uniform acceleration. That is, the acceleration is not changing with time. Acceleration is constant. This value is constant. At, you know, every two time intervals you take, you find the change in velocity, find the change in, uh, divide the change in velocity by the time taken in that change, you will get same value of a now from here it is simply mathematical so a times t2 minus t1 is equal to v2 minus v1 isn't it so we can say v2 is equal to v1 plus a times t2 minus t1 and what is v1 and v2 so in this case you can clearly see v1 is nothing but u initial velocity v2 is nothing but v final velocity, right? T1, I'm considering to be zero, start of motion, let's say. Your, your clock starts at T1 equals to zero and T2 is equal to, let's say, T. If you deploy all these values in the given equation, what will you get? You'll get V is equal to U plus A T. And this is what is the mathematical derivation of this particular equation of motion. So always remember, V is equal to U plus A T is derived from the definition of acceleration itself. Okay, I hope you understood this problem.